today I'm back and I decided that I'm going to show you a few things that I got at the mall today. And I'm really excited about it only because I didn't spend a dime. Um, I had a bunch of returns and um, exchanges. I guess it's the same thing. I guess it's returns, yeah, from Christmas and some gift certificates. So I got to use all those and pretty much everything was free for me. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you um, is a YSL lipstick that I got. And I'm really not sure about it, but I really wanted a good nude lipstick. I couldn't find one at the drugstore that I liked. Couldn't find one from MAC that I liked. Um, and so everyone always said, or all the YouTube people that are videos that I watched said to get the YSL lipstick, nude lipstick. So I went and picked one out. And I chose the 148 in T Rose. And I don't know... Uh, if I like it very much, honestly. It's on my lips now. And, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, what do you think? It's This was like $34, I think. So, I don't really want to keep it if I don't like it that much. I want to at least go exchange it for another one. So, I want to know what you think about it. And I want to know which color you like best. So, maybe I can go try that one on instead. But I'll put it on so you can see better. Let's see. So that's the color. So let me know what you guys think. So that's the first thing I got. And then the next thing I got was a MAC eyeshadow. And I've been looking for this kind of color for so long. I don't know why I didn't just go look at MAC's eyeshadows. I just don't really go to MAC that much, that often. Um, I don't know why. I just don't. But um, it's called Orb. And I love it. I'm wearing it right now. I hate closing my eyes because I can't see what I look like when I do that, so I don't feel like an idiot. But, um, yeah, it's just like this color. It's a light, pinky, white, matte color, and it's very pigmented, and that's exactly what I've been looking for. This is what it looks like. And the reason I've been looking for this color is because there was a Juicy Couture ad, and there was this girl in it, the model, who was holding the new Juicy bottle, or no, the first Juicy bottle, the Viva, not the Viva, the one before that. But, um, and she had on, like, black winged eyeliner like this, and then, like, this kind of eyeshadow underneath, and her eyes just popped, and I've always, I've been looking for this color eyeshadow for so long, so I finally found it, and I'm really excited, and it does kind of give the same effect that she had in the, in the, uh, advertisement, so I'm excited. Yay. Next, what I, did I get? Okay, not that you probably care, but I don't know, some people might. Um, I love candles. I have candles in my room, like, lit all the time, just because it, it smells good. It, I just like the way it feels. But I love the candles from Bath & Body Works, even though I don't like that store usually, and I don't usually frequent it at all, because I think it's kind of overpriced. And this, I don't like smells, like, fruity smells. But they're having a 75% off sale, so I stopped in because I knew their candles were on sale. And I got two candles for $6.00. And I have one lit right now. And it's lit, so I'm going to be careful. But this is it. And it's like, I forget what it's called. It's the Aromatherapy brand, but I promise you, it smells so good. Go to Bath & Body Works and check it out. Yeah, here's the receipt. The total was $6.29 for two candles. And here's the other one. I got two. This one's called Cedar Rose. This one was $2.00. 250. So it was a total score, and I was happy about that because I love good smelling candles. Uh, that's what I get next. Then I went to Zara, um, and I love Zara. I used to go to Zara all the time when I lived abroad in China. They had such amazing things at the, um, at the Zara there, and I feel like the selection in the States is not even half as good as it is abroad. But I did find something that I love, and I saw this jacket about six months ago and I wanted it so badly but I just graduated and I was looking for a job and I didn't have a job so I didn't want to just spend money I didn't have. It's just a black boyfriend jacket and the sleeves roll up and it had um, and the inside is lined with like a striped satin lining. It's like a big oversized like uh, blazer I guess, black blazer. Um, it's very it's very like modern and hip but sophisticated at the same time and it's very versatile. It just has one button in the front with like a nice black lapel. And it was originally $80 and I got it for $60. So it was a pretty decent um, 
amount off. And it was the last one in my size, so I kind of felt like it was uh, meant to be, so I had to get it. But I'm really excited about this. I'm going to wear everything and all the time. I'm going to wear jeans, skirts, leggings, tights. I can't wait. And I'll, um, I'll put some pictures on my blog for you guys because I like to do like um, outfits of the day and looks of the day sometimes. So I'll do one with this for sure. I'm excited about that. Okay. And lastly, and the most exciting thing for me, because I've always wanted to try this out, and I finally had a gift certificate um, to somewhere where I could get it and because I didn't want to spend $50 on it, <laughs> was this. Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronzing Makeup Base. And I've watched so many videos on this, and I've um, read reviews, and everyone seems to love it. A lot of people say they wouldn't buy it again because of the price, um, but the quality, they say, doesn't beat any kind of bronzer. I'm a bronzer like fanatic even though and I always, I always look very bronze in my pictures and I've had someone write to me like oh you shouldn't wear so much blush but I don't look like this I promise it's just really weird lighting because <laughs> like even my nose looks orange but um so yeah I'm a definite bronzer fanatic and this one uh, doesn't have any shimmer in it of course because I can't stand like shimmery shiny things I want everything to be matte I love matte stuff but this is what it looks like it's a really pretty pot, black pot with a gold Chanel logo. And I used it once today already and I don't have, I'm not using it right now. I used it this morning right when I got it. Um, and inside is just a swirl of, if not mousse and it's not gel and it's not like foundation. It's like its own consistency and I can't explain it. It's almost like, I don't know, I'll show you a swatch. That's what it looks like. So it gives like, I, I take a brush with it and kind of swirl the brush and then just kind of like smooth it into my face, massage it into my face, um, what, like where the sun would naturally hit me. And I love it. I'm so excited. I tried this on this morning um, at, when I got it and it was just phenomenal. I'm so excited to have found it. Uh, I can't explain it. I can't explain why it's so, why it's such a good product. Um, I'm gonna. I'll probably do a, a review on it and a tutorial, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Even though I'm so bad at doing tutorials, I'll have to work on it. But yeah, this is the um, Soleil or whatever bronzing Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzing makeup base. I'm really excited about it. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much all I got today. But they're things I've been really, really wanting and finally have gotten, so I'm excited. And that's it. So, um, please comment and subscribe and rate. And also, I want to let you know that I really want to do a giveaway soon. So, I'm waiting till I get at least a thousand, uh, not at least, I'll, well, I'll wait till I get a thousand subscribers. And I'll do a really awesome giveaway for you guys. So, keep subscribing and rating. And let me know about this lips, lipstick, the YSL. Let me know which one you have and which one you think I should get or if this one's okay. And that's it. And thanks for watching. And... I think that's it.